the greatest opportunity that will ever come is never going to come while you're waiting. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have to excel where you are. You have to excel while you wait for that opportunity to come. I couldn't find something to plug that hard work ethic into that would generate mm -hmm. what I was looking to generate. And yeah. so like I literally was there three and a half years. But what I found was that opportunity was never, ever, ever going to come while I was still just sitting around waiting. And so the job that I had at the time and then the job that I went into, like you can't, you can't be living this mediocre life of putting in half effort where you are now, even if you hate it, like even if you hate your job 100%, I promise you, you'll mm. find a better one and you'll find the one that was meant for you if you excel in what you hate, <laughs> rather than yeah. rather than so many people that just say, oh, well, you know, once the greatest opportunity arises or once I figure out what I was meant to do or once this opportunity of a lifetime comes, then I'll go all in. You've heard the phrase, it's it's easiest to find a job when you have one. Uh, that's, that's what it means. It means while you're, while you're trying to figure out what you're most passionate about, put an insane amount of work ethic into what you're doing currently. It depends on whether or not that thing that you're doing, you're actually talented at and good at. Because like if you're talented at something and like what you're producing is like high quality, but it's not necessarily like, you know, your passion. It's a whole lot easier to go all in on that thing in the meantime. Mm -hmm. When what you're doing isn't that great mm -hmm. and it's not your passion, and it's literally just like, this is my job right now and I'm gonna do it. I'm not that great at it. I don't like doing it. Well, that's a whole other story. Figuring out what you were born to do is not easy. There's so much confusion out there, so much noise, conflicting opinions on passion, purpose, potential. No wonder we're so lost. I'd like to offer you a new perspective as we close today. God-given. It means possessed without question, as if by divine authority. In a world full of distraction, confusion, and uncertainty, how would it feel to possess without question. Confident, hopeful, secure. So what is God given? Your gifts. And when you're operating out of those gifts, people can see that because it comes out through the work. And it's going all in on those things. Like, like this may not be what I like to do. It may not be what I want to be filming right now but I have a God-given gift to film and to create these videos, and I'm gonna do them to the absolute best of my ability until the right opportunity to film what I really want you know, comes along. I challenge you today to start viewing your world through this progression, gifts, purpose, potential, and passion. Only when you operate out of your gifts will you realize your purpose in life. Remember, they're possessed without question.